sixth grade, module one, lesson 14, classwork. Kelly is traveling by train with her soccer team from Yonkers, New York to Morgantown, West Virginia for a tournament. The distance between Yonkers and Morgantown is 400 miles. The total trip will take eight hours. The train schedule is provided below. So we can see the different stops that they have, where they are, how far it is, if we're leaving Yonkers, and so let's see and then there's also this chart from leaving Morgantown so this looks like on the way there so this looks like there and this looks like the return trip so there and back exercise one create a table to show the time it will take Kelly and her team to travel from Yonkers to each town listed in the schedule assuming that the ratio the amount of time traveled to the distance traveled is the same for each city. Then extend the table to include the cumulative time it would take to reach each destination on the ride home. Okay, so we know in the information that we read it said that the trip is going to take eight hours and it is 400 miles. So we know here this Morgantown, Virginia, West Virginia, that's 400 miles and it's going to take eight hours. So if we wanted to scale that down to 100 miles and get this up here, we want to know how long it's going to take 100 miles. We need to divide 400 by one by four to get 100. So let's divide eight by four to figure out how long that's going to take, and that would be two. So it's going to take two hours to go 100 miles. I'm going to put that in the chart. Two hours is 100 miles. So then two hours is 100 miles. If we double that to get 200, that would be four hours for, or for 200 miles. And then we can just keep going. So six hours would be 300. Eight would be 400. That's the information we started with. And then it also wants to know the return trip. So it says extend the table to include the cumulative time it will take to reach each destination on the ride home. So that's just the way there. If we keep going, we'd be at 10 hours for 500 miles, 12 hours to get 600 miles, 14 hours, 700 and 16 hours would be 800 miles. So that's the whole trip there and back. Create a double number line diagram to show the time it will take Kelly and her team to travel from Yonkers to each town listed in the schedule. Then extend the double line diagram to include the cumulative time it will take to reach each destination on the ride home. Represent the ratio of the distance traveled on the round trip to the amount of taken, time taken with an equation. So we just want to know, we're just going to take what we put in that graph above and put it on our double line graph. Let's start with zeros. So zero hours, you get nowhere. Two hours, you get 100 miles. Four hours, 200. Six hours, 300. Eight hours, 400. So now it wants us to extend it for the return trip. 10 hours, 500. 12 hours, 600, 14 hours, 700, 16 hours, 800, and then they're back home. And it says, using the information from the double, line, double number line diagram, how many miles would be traveled in one hour? So we want to know what is one hour. So the distance between zero and two is 100 miles. So if we split that in half and found right in the middle, the distance halfway between zero and 100 would be 50 miles. How do we know? So we know that two hours equals 100 miles. So I split that, those in half, and got one hour 
equals 50 miles. Example one. Dinner service starts once the train is 250 miles away from Yonkers. What is the minimum time that the players will have to wait before they can have their meal? Okay, so once they're 250 miles away, they get food. We know that two hours is 100 miles. If we were going to plot these, our ordered pair would be 2, 100. 4 hours is 200 miles, so that ordered pair would be 4, 200. 6 hours is 300 miles. So 6, 300. So our when they get to eat is going to be right in between here because it's at 250 miles. So we'll figure that out once we get to the chart. But I'm going to finish filling this out. So 8 hours is 400 miles. And 10 hours is 500 miles. Now it wants us to plot this on the chart. And I'm going to start here with zero. So I'll make that two, four, six, eight, ten. And then I'll do 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. And now we can plot. So we can go ahead and plot zero, zero because if you go zero hours, you get zero distance. Then two, 100, four, 200, six, 300, eight, 400, and 10, 500. So let's draw our line here, connect our points. And this is going to make it really simple to figure out where 250 miles is. So we're going to find 250 miles. Here is 250 miles right here. We just need to connect and see where it is on the chart. It's right there, which would be 5 hours. It's right at 5 hours. So it wants to know what's the minimum time players will have to wait before they can have their meal. That would be 5 hours.